Carla. There's no need to shout. Are you, uh... Delicate. Hung over. Mmm. Yeah, well, in that case, make sure you put your sunglasses on if you see my fiance, because she has just picked a rock out the size of Gibraltar. Oh, you do surprise me. <clears throat> of course, now I've got to earn the money to pay for it. Right, what have I missed? Noise, bright lights. If you were feeling down... Who said I was feeling down? I thought that... Uh... Well, I was just drinking to forget you. Your own engagement, maybe, yeah? In fact, that's a lie. I was drinking to keep up with Tony G. You can't have knock him back. Tony G? Gordon. Yeah, yeah well, I, I know who he is. I just didn't realise he turned into a rap star overnight. <laughs> no, he just spends like one. Ah, so he's greased his way back into the good books, has he? Well, you know, he filled me in on a few things. Who he does business with, who he won't do business with, the things he's done, the things that Lindsay said he's done. And you believed him? Now? Yeah, every word. See, so your snooping did us some good. It kind of cleared the air. Every cloud, eh? Hmm. Now, I am just saying she's got to be careful because rings date. Oh, my darling. Diamonds never date. Maria knows that. You look at Princess Diana that sapphire. Who would choose a monster rock like that now? If you go too flash, get it wrong. It's a lifetime of regret. All oh, right, so that's why Jason didn't go so flash then. I always thought you liked the Christmas cracker look. <laughs> Jason doesn't own a half factory. Ah, he doesn't own a mobile at the minute either. Found that outside on Puff. Anyone could have picked it up. Thanks. Five says you ought last hour, Sarah. You know you'll read his text. Oh, now, don't be mean. Yeah, as if. We're not all paranoid, you know. Right. Now, are you sure that's going to be enough? Oh, plenty. And don't you go pigging out neither. Hey, we're having a roast tonight. Yeah, I'm cooking. Oh, you are, are you? Yeah, did you get the sherry for the trifle? How many flaming times? Oh, roasting, huh? Sherry trifle, what's going on? Are you buttering us up so you can raise the rent? No. <laughs> well, I just want us to have a nice night <clears throat> in, all of us together for a change. Eat and tell Molly to pick up a decent bottle of wine from the shop. No, no, she means cans. I'll sort them out. <laughs> all right, sound, yeah. And uh, will my lady be dressing to impress? She will wash behind her ears. I'll see to that. <laughs> she okay. See you later. Oh. I don't know how they're going to take it, Vera. Look, they'll just say, are you really leaving, Vera? That's the graver. Mm. Look, Jack, we're, we're two old codgers. They'll be glad to see it back of us. Didn't know you went home for dinners. I got PE last lesson. I forgot my trainers. Pure excuse. Too many sweets, fillings, ear and ear. Still no. Do you recognise that car? That blue car, do you know the driver? He's watching us. Oh, it's my dentist who's checking up on me. It's fruit, not chocolate! Don't! <laughs> is she milking that car, Roy? I beg your pardon? Two coffees to go, is it too much to ask? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, the milk. Tell you what, uh, I've got a jelly there. No, no, apologies. They, these, these are on the house. Sugar? Ah, two in each. Tell you what, Roy, you want to put a bomb under there. <sighs> there we are, Bill. Please do call again. One pound sixty, please. Uh, From now on, you pay for every customer that you lose. But it's driving me crazy. Yes, well, it always does. <laughs> my nana boy's not well, right? I'm in a competition to win a year's supply of cider, and I gave my number to a fella last week. What if he rings? What if they all ring and I never get the call? What if? Yes, it's a, it's a Hardy-esque dilemma, but please debate it in your own time. <laughs> so we set a date, then? No. Well, what was it going to be? Months? Years? What? I not really considered it. Honestly, right, before you asked her, did you go around to say, can you trim a fringe, but it came out, will you spend the rest of your life with me? Well, I know I'm impulsive. Not but... that impulsive. Well, well, decisive. It felt right. You're very interested in the ins and outs. Well, you know, I'm just 
depending on what I'm going to wear, aren't I? I mean, if it's a summer wedding, a girl's got a lot of preparation. She's got optimum tan, optimum weight, optimum waxing. So you're planning on coming, then? Oh, why wouldn't I? Don't know. Never been that sure if you were a fan. Of yours? Yeah, all of your ears. It's hard to tell with you. But since she won't mess with your head, she won't bleed you dry, She's good work material. Don't go overboard. And I think you'll make her very happy. Oh, not again. Can't you turn that blinking thing off? Uh, no, not really, Gran. Jason might phone it. But why on earth would anyone ring their own phone? To see if somebody else has found it. I'm amazed he manages a full day's work with all them texts. I mean, you're amazed he's got that many friends. Yeah, well, that as well. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You reading his messages? Thought you weren't the paranoid type. Yeah, I'm not. It might be something important. Jason, what's going on? <laughs> Jenny, I owe you a pint, lad. Yeah, cheers, mate. What are you so pleased about? That was Denny Kelly. What, the spark? Good lad, yeah. Did a few jobs with him back in the day. Any road, he's just landed a very plump contract in work for it. Victoria Street. How at Victoria Street? New build, big and 20 odd flats. You're kidding. Decent spec and all. I get a rig on. I might be some work in it for us. Nice one, pal. Do you want to tell me now? Or shall I just go down to Roy's Rolls and find out truth? Do you recognise this? Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, with a bunch of kissy-kissy messages from your bit on the side. What? Don't act daft. Who's acting? We haven't even finished off our wedding cake. And you do this with Becky from a cap. She's minging. I haven't done anything. Jason, I have seen the messages. It's supposed to be private. Yes, and the ones from you to her. So? Jokey texts, late night texts, texts with kisses on the bottom of it. And all you can say to me is it's private. What are you talking about? Becky hardly ever sends me texts, and when she does send me texts, it's normally about cream cakes or something. Sarah, wait! <whistles> Float like a butterfly, mate. Stupid. Believe this. Were you seeing her before the wedding? I'm not seeing yeah, her. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Like you said, she wants sending kisses with a text. Yeah, well, she didn't Well, you know what? That. I've seen it for myself now, and it ain't a slip of the finger. It's every flaming time. What'd you take me for? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So while I'm slugging my guts out of the land, you're sneaking off to a bail stool. Hey, I am not sneaking out I anywhere. I'm slugging my guts out so we can get a place of our own. What a mug! Sarah, just listen to me, please. Ah! Uh, school's that way. Uh, bus stop's this way. Are you bunking off? Squeaky wheel. Yeah, right. You're wagging chemistry. I've got a doctor's appointment. <laughs> what is it, gamer's thumb? Uh, I've got an ache in my Xbox. <laughs> Come on, 52's coming. What about your lesson? It's athletics. They'll be halfway around the track by now. Any excuse. McLeod will understand. You're sick, you need me. Yeah, like I need a pair of stilts. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? Look how many 
times do you want me to say it? I don't. Oh, at last he speaks. Because you're apologising for the wrong thing. And I told you over and over again, I told you on our wedding day, when everyone's seen had left the church. You're the only one I love. Messages, sent box. Becky. Becky. Becky! Oh, I'm honoured. Sarah. Becky. Mum. Bill. Becky, Becky, Becky! Well, I've not sent that many texts. Just give it here. Look at the stuff you sent her. I like skinny blondes! Exclamation mark! Two kisses! Well, you're a skinny blonde and I don't remember sending that. I have my moments. I told you I never sent All it. All right, and why have you sent her that? Because she sent you. Thanks! You're the best! Yeah, best liar! I swear on Beth's life! Why don't you dare bring Beth into this? Well, you've got to believe me! Jason, the proof is staring you in the face! This must be a wind-up because I never sent this stuff, all right? Well, you did send the phone, Fairy! I don't know! Becky! Maybe she thought it'd be funny or I've done something to wind you up. Either way, she sent them texts to herself, right? From your phone? Well, she must have done it when my back was turned. I don't know. Uh, ah! Hang on a minute. Did we leave the keys in the ignition? No, chance. What kind of amateurs do you think we are? Of course we didn't leave the keys in the ignition. He's hotwired it, yeah? Yo, maybe I was gone for more than a minute then. Look, you not just send someone over? Give me a crime number's all well and good, but... I recognise that souvenir of Malta key ring. Oh, it's a falcon. I thought it were an angry penguin. Excuse me, officer. I'll have to ring you back. You made a big mistake there, pal. That car's not mine. It belongs to the business. Sounds like a technicality. Oh, so you're confessing to theft, then? No, I'm confessing to a find. Not the same thing. I think the police call it a twock. Taking without owner's consent. You haven't got a leg to stand on, pal. Hey, listen, lads, I don't want any trouble. You've got a funny way of showing it, pal. Yeah, but you owe me money and you keep on giving me the slip. Stan! Stan! I owe Stan 400 quid! That car's worth five grand, not counting the fares we'll be taking. It's what we call in the trade a shot across the bows. You what? Keys. Here's the keys. You do owe us money, agreed? Agreed? Agreed. Yesterday you said you'd come in to pay it. Oh dear, sorry, I've been busy. A day later, final furlong, you still haven't coughed up. Yeah, well, he's got to earn the money. You can't do that without a car. Exactly. Lloyd, go and drive your little cotton socks off. You've got till Friday, last race at Lingfield. Then, I'll set the lad on you. I had him there. Oh, and don't even say it. I'm going to say it. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah, well, maybe, but you've made me look like a right poodle. What's the problem? What's the problem? You're an echo, aren't you? Why did you bring me into the business? You look pretty behind the counter. All oh, right, because I thought it was so you could teach me the ropes, yeah? Let me run the place myself. But every time I show some initiative, you go and pull the rug from under me. Play the long game, son. Patience is not a virtue, Dad. Patience gets you labelled as a mug. Trust me. No one, not Steve, not Lloyd, no one's going to take us for mugs. You reckon? I reckon. Oh, there is an echo in here. Because if Lloyd doesn't pay up this time, that's when I send you round to break his legs. So this long game. Look at it more as a sprint than a marathon. Just passing. I had a check if my name was still mud. Who picked up the tab last night, me or you? Me. Then your name's not mud. And how are you? Inch high, private eye. Oh, you're talking to me, are you? That's a relief. Well, you'll be gutted to hear it, I'm sure, but the words Tony and Garden have not passed our lips for at least two hours. Oh, more? Anyway, he's had some gossip of his own. It's hardly gossip. Well, news then. He's getting hitched. Yeah? Well, Maria, subject to credit and criminal background checks, of course. Let it go, big man, let it go. I'm really chuffed for you. When did all this happen? Last night, and... Oh, I've just realised that she's blabbing it to you and I bought Maria a ring. I've not even told my own sister yet. Ooh. Don't treat me like I'm stupid. Sarah, I wouldn't do that. Even if you haven't done anything. What do you mean, even if? But you've got to admit, it looks bad. I mean, this secret friendship she with her. She works in the calf, and I talk to her in the calf. Why, <laughs> Stephanie, the message. Shut, Shut up, David. David. 
I don't understand what you think's so secret about it. She's got your number. I'm a builder. Half of Weatherfield have got my number. I'm a builder with a duff leg and a dodgy hand now. You don't send flirty text to half of Weatherfield. Who's gonna send him flirty text? Jason, I'm going out my mind. You're going out your mind? How do you think I feel, eh? You know, I have told you till I'm blue in the face, I am not messing around. I swore on the most precious thing we've got. And do you believe me? No. I want to believe you. No, you don't. How can you? But Jason is there. He's in black and white. What am I supposed to think? For better, for worse. That's what you're meant to think. Full text to his part. Oh, David! Jason, where are you going? I can tell you where I'm not going. Becky's. Will you believe me? There we are, Tyler. News? Oh, Liam, you've not split up with Maria. Wrong. So wrong. I proposed to Maria. Oh, my God, that's brilliant! Oh, she'd be so good for you coming. Oi, oi. That's it. Oh, shall be happy. Paul. I love this. I need an order in champagne now. I know. I know. Champagne? Here she is, the blushing brides. Stop it, B.A. <laughs> Can I have two bottles of the very best you've got, please, miss? Oh, miss? What's all this about, then? <laughs> Liam's making a nice woman out of Maria. Wow! Oh, hey, we do do a marvellous buffet, on Michelle, I'll tell you. Do we get a family discount? Cheeky. <laughs> no, it's all right, mate. It's all right, I've got that. No, I insist. What do you reckon? I didn't force him into it, you know. Oh, you couldn't. Don't be daft. <laughs> He's always had great taste. Mm. Come here. <laughs> right, here we are, girls. OK, then. Hey, let's have a look at this jewel. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look, shall we? Mm. Oh, here's a whopper. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. I knew it was the one as soon as I saw it. Just like she knew it was me. Oh. <laughs> right, come on, let's knock this back, shall we? There's plenty more where it came from. Um, actually... I'm not drinking. This isn't the only thing we're celebrating, is it? <laughs> Baby. <Yeah. laughs> You're pregnant. Yeah, isn't it brilliant? <laughs> <laughs> you still do the best roasters in town, V. <laughs> oh, stuff the roasters. Come on, what's the big secret? <laughs> All right, you can't hold your water this one. Not a secret as such. We're flitting to Blackpool. Break it to him gently, why don't you, Vado? No. Good on you. Well, what about your friends around here? What about your life? What about us? Let's see, what did I tell you? Well, it's only an hour up road. Anyway, it's about time you two have got a place of your own. You've been on about for months. So you're going to be selling up then? Well, we'll have to. It's pricey over there. What? Well, I know it's pricey, but I mean, I was just wondering. What? Well, I mean, Blackpool, I mean, it's great for your holidays, isn't it? But in the winter, when none of your mates around. We've got the Artons. They're your in-laws, not your friends, are they? I, I'm not trying to rain on your parade here, Gran, or out. Look, I'm happy there. I feel right there. I'm just saying you might be better off with a... You know, when you're starting, to, to do a temporary move. What do you mean? Test the water, like? Yeah. Yeah, get yourselves a nice little flat for six months, or, um, one of them one of them static caravans. Hey, they're really posh, them. They're like little bungalows now. Yeah, he's got a point, you know. And it, it wouldn't be like backing out, V. Just, like, keeping your options open, I suppose. Mm. I'm just asking the questions that a grand should, should if he cares. I, I appreciate that, son. Look, we've spent years dithering about it, jumping with both feet, that's what I say, and have our nice little nest egg. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that, although I'd like to, because I'll miss you. But you should both be happy. I'm a bad now. <laughs> Aren't they good kids, Jack? <laughs> oh. Do you know, I don't know what we did to deserve you. We did. Baby. Mm. Oh, well, just to be sociable. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have a spot of brandy in there. <laughs> hey, I'll have a new baby and a ready made babysitter on tap. Can't we? <laughs> uh, just so you know. Double time for Saturdays and all the Chris second. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> Are you surprised? I'm surprised you didn't mention it, yeah. Oh. I'm surprised she did. I thought she was going to wait till the first scan. Oh, she's in no mood for waiting, is she, Maria? How does Auntie Carla sound? I 
a stab in the eye, actually. <laughs> Must be plain old Carla. There you And do me a favor, will you? No more surprises. I bet I know what you two are talking about. Oh, do you? Mm. If you think you're getting paternity leave, you can whistle. <laughs> She's good. Why do you think he's married? Mm -hmm. Let's have a toast then to uh, Maria, Liam, and the boy. Cheers. Bob. Cheers, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Next, here on ITV1, it's Love, Lies and Limos in the bill. And then... I'm a gentleman and I don't, uh, you know, I don't kiss and tell. Are you a virgin? Yeah, yeah not, not since I was ten. It all makes sense! You're a virgin! I am... Shut up! It's the movie premiere, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, at nine. <laughs>